Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, or at least video, in Hearts of Minecraft, Rise of the Legion for Hearts of Iron 4, and today we're beginning out as the Fallen Kingdom, and as you can see, there's a lot of red on screen, but I've already gone ahead and done the Birth of the Sun, which gives us more stability. Now we can do Sons of the Cohort, which will give us more War Spirit, which we could probably honestly use, just because eh, we're not doing so great right here, so yeah. Um, we're, we're at war currently with the Undead Lands. We've taken quite a few casualties, and I'll be honest, if this doesn't go well for us, we might or might not use God's commands in the end, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Definitely have to wait and see here, just because this ain't going too great for us right now, now is it? No, it ain't. Um, we have the king here as a field marshal. It's kind of hard to read, I'll be honest, with his uh, user interface. It's a little hard to read. But we also have Joseph Gear and Captain Sparkles. Captain Sparkles has, or is, leading the way for us to do well. Oh boy, this is not good. Chaos and Krinios. There's been a prison broken in Support has been overrun and the capital's at risk. Well, the king escapes. Oh boy. So, right now, we've done the sins of the cohort. The king escapes. More than 30% surrender progress. Oh boy. Control the sultan. For the kingdom. Ooh, we'll give more war support. Ooh, the king escapes. Evacuation of villagers. Oh boy. Military governor. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I, I really don't know what this is about. The national coup. Huh. Support the opposition. Ooh, for my family. I'll do that one, why not? The king escapes. And there we go. Evacuation of villagers versus control of the situation. Well, we could use more war support. Effects of our current war support. Uh, doesn't really help us out that much. What if we did command office? 35 day focus. Give more planning speed and max planning. It is a little hard to read all this stuff. This is not very good for us right now, though. Um, We can't even get anyone new. Which sucks pretty badly, I'll be honest. Uh... Could you all just, like, go here and get the port as fast as possible? That would be absolutely delightful right now, and we would love that. Um, I'm kind of ignoring the northern front right now, because we are just falling and failing so hard. Uh, with the undead lands, of course. They do get 20% more attack and minus 10% defense, but... This guy's attack pretty, pretty darn harshly, not gonna lie. Can you guys actually win there? We should be able to win here, at least, right? The sisters declared war on the village of the confederation. I, we do have some puppets here, and I did take their uh, guys away, so... Uh, we'll see. We're using them as divisions, so. Honestly, I'd rather you guys come over here and just help us out. Go up there and do that. But we are sinking some enemy ships, or convoys at the very least, which is pretty nice. Uh, that's not good for us. Hopefully we can increase the resistance by quite a bit. But hey, at least our ships are doing work. By Brandon Romer. Oh, he's learning a lot. Look at that. Nice. Fleet protector, superior tactician. Good, 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 good. Uh, do all these areas as well. You might as well. See if you can find anything around here. If they come spreading out, then that sucks really badly, but... Oh, well. Uh, get into the commander. Axe chains, huh? Alright. Well, that should help us out at least slightly more. Oh, this is looking so bad. So bad. There's literally nothing we can do about this, really. We've lost 39,000. We're taking... Well, we cut off 67,000. That's not too bad, actually. Command office isn't too bad. Go and retreat some more. And mobilize every last player. We could use the manpower. Reserve divisions will spawn in northern territory. That's pretty good. Special forces defense. Elite train division. Request assistance, invitation, land, oh, entrenchment speed. Ooh, invitation of engineers. We get more entrenchment speed, which might not be too bad. I want you guys to hold here, though. Hold for now. This could be a lot worse. Could, of course, be a lot better, but... Um, I just don't think you'd be able to win here, would you? I just don't think you would be able to. Just go and hold for now. Um, don't worry about attacking. Just kind of hang out, hold, do the best you can. The more they spread themselves out, the better it'll be for all of us, so... Except you can attack right here. Definitely attack right here. That'd be good. And how are we doing down here? Oh, we did take the port, which is very bueno. Boy, very, very, very bueno indeed. Up out right there. Ooh, hurry up and win right there so we can get it right here and defend some more. Please, 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 please. Keep singing them convoys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah. Don't let them get into there. That'd be really bad for us. Get that division in there. I'll pull them out. Actually, if anything, I'd love to get another field marshal. Alex sleeps. Be offensive. Oh, we can't do that yet. That's fine. Well, that should give us some more capabilities to attack. You should be able to win here, though. You should be able to win. Well, should is a very nice word to say. Should. My goodness. How do they have infinite, like, infantry equipment and stuff? I don't understand. They don't have any. Then again, neither do we. <laughs> Invitation of engineers. Let's get mobilized every last player. Get some more reserve divisions, which could be super, 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 super important. Nice. 
yeah, you guys, you guys just do what you need to do. Once you guys finish down there, we got to race back up north because we're just losing the line like crazy. Um, actually, could you go in there maybe? Maybe not. If we can circle some divisions, that'd be great. Oh, we actually did get in there. That's not bad. Not bad. If you want to lose that tile, that's not the worst thing that could happen. Especially if we could go back a little bit more and do something like that, perhaps. Maybe. Oh, would you look at that? An encirclement. Oh, that sucks. Go in there. Come on. Come on. God dang it. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to win against these guys at all. This is a bit uh, too difficult, I would say. And, oh, the rise of the Legion. Oh, yes, there will be blood. Legion? Where's Legion? Because we do it in the new map here. We have the slaughter, uh, slaughter lands, I guess. Anarchy, Weather Dominion, Piglins, Basalt. Eh, different piggies. Um, Southern Player Empire, which I have played before, I believe. I don't know if there's anything new there or not. King Alexander I, develop our villager uh, allies. Uh, Ominous Legion is down here. Oh, weak government. Villager Krieg, young nation. Um, maybe we'll do Rise of the Legion sometime. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should we do the Legion sometime? The Ominous Legion? Let me know in the comments below. War Propaganda. Good working conditions. Initial land appropriation of the last offensives. In 60 days, we'll run out of resources. We need to destroy the horde before the time runs out. What? We are not. What? I'll be honest. What the heck? That doesn't make any sense. What? Even with support, you still cannot win here, can you? Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to win. I think you're just supposed to die. I mean, this is on historical to let you know, but... Alright, we'll see what happens. Um, Our last line of defense. Well, not quite. Preparing for the next great offensive. Uh, support from the villages. Yeah, why not? Let's try that one. Get on the line. Go in. Nice. Go in. There we go. Very good. At least kill them off. At least attempt to kill them off. Before we lose here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Force it. Force it. Go in. There we go. Woo! We got him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I want you guys to be out here. Now we're going to need another general. Um, Horse boys. There you go. Too. Captain Sparkles, thank you for playing. Do that as well. Uh, we're going to need another general for this. Even though we could spend political power. Maybe on getting someone for more, for more defense, actually. Well, will wait and see first. Yeah, they're doing like forced attack or defense or something like that. Imperia? Uh, Assassination has to be place as well. You're going to go all the way in. They're doing forced defense. Well, they chose to die. Ah, oh, yes, we'll grab, gladly grab some stuff. Ooh. We are trying to import some stuff as well, but we're doing the best we can right now. They're, so their attacks have slowed down, it looks like, for now. We've lost so many guys. 119,000. Killed 200,000 of them, but we'll see what happens. I just want to hold out, man. That's all I want to do. I just want to hold out. Uh, guys, can you just go in? Aid from Red Rose. Red Rose is generally provided with goods which are distributed to the people now. And Malorum refuses to send aid. Malorum is declined a request for aid. We will receive nothing from them. And as well as Appalachia. Appalachia? Appalachia? Alright. And lessons of martial arts. You get an elite trained division. This is stupid that that force defense, seriously. Come on, hurry up. Disperse industry, nice. We could definitely use it right now. Get some more as well. It is year 648, not bad. There you go, nice. Alright, so now. Um, hmm. How, how thick are you? You're, you're four. Okay, you're four combat with. Castle guards, you're ten combat with. Uh, <laughs> that's not very good. Castle guards, just do this. Um, if anything, I want to come right here. And we're going to start doing some encirclements, because we have to. Nothing else around here. No upgrades yet. That's okay with us. Well, hello. There's some guys in there. Good. Superior firepower is pretty good. Let's go ahead and grab some delay doctrine for more organization. And last offensive. Offensive failed. I don't understand that. That should probably not be in the game. We're running out of resources. We need to throw the horde before the time runs out. Yeah, that's, imp that's literally impossible to do. So, preparing for the next offensive, I guess. Throw everything you have at them, and leave nothing to chance. Hey, three divisions encircled. Kill them off immediately. If you can, if you dare. 
You know what? I wanted more attack, but oh, the hatch. Yeah, you need somebody there. There you go. That's not good, but whatever. And that's the research speed. Gets more reinforced rate, right? please. Thank you very much. Well, at least they died. And now they're attacking once again. But we're going to send ourselves down here. Or just go up here first and help hold the line. Yeah, you want to keep attacking, you pieces of garbage? They've got to be losing just so many people. But, regardless. Oh, uh, what are we going to do here? Socialist revolutionary. We're getting more daily non aligned support. Unaligned supremacist military factory. Political power 5% is not really worth it, in my opinion, right now. Uh, partial mobilization might not be too bad, but are we able to build anything? Eh, some civvies. Not bad. Uh, we could use probably a little more manpower, but I think what we're going to do... Artillery's not bad, even though we have none. I do want to get some more attack and defense immediately, so 5% is not very much. So, let's build. Screw it. We're going to build. Offensive failed. Well, crap. Our last final push has failed. We may still have a chance to defend the kingdom, but we must not serve the effects of our overzealous resource consumption retreat. Another offensive failed, huh? Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to win that one, so... Spawn Trappers gains cores at peace. Uh, Red Revolution. Uh, well, thanks, game. Thanks for not letting us do this. Okay, okay. Evacuation of the villagers? Sure. So now we can't attack. Oh, I guess we can still technically attack, but they're just not going to be very good for it. And now they're going to attack us like crazy. As long as they don't naval invade us, we'll be okay-ish. We did lose some attack, which really is not very good, but whatever. This is going to be a very weak attack, but whatever. If we could somehow get enough divisions to go over that direction, that'd be great. Oh my god. It's a single division. Yeah, I'm not sure that... I guess it's the intentions of the devs, but... I'm not sure if I can really say I like it. The way that it's set up right now for us. Evacuation villagers control the situation. Um, you guys just go on all the way if you possibly can. Alright, so that's good. You're going to get attacked and we're probably going to lose a lot of divisions here, but whatever. Yeah, you better not lose this tile. You are literally not allowed to lose, so... Force defense. So now, we must immediately go in. Um, you guys go there, you guys go into there. You go there, you guys go into there. That's a pretty big group that we are attacking, which is pretty nice. What do they have? Do they have armor? They have engineers. Yeah, we literally can't afford to lose there, so... Nice. Pig eaters, alright, let's see what else. That's right there, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Nice! Head on in! Alright, that was a pretty good offensive. Could have been, we, I'm sure we lost a lot of guys, but hey, seven divisions gone. Seven divisions we don't have to deal with anymore. Be beautiful. Control the situation, nice. So now we can either do a military government, a supremacist becomes a ruling party, or you get a factory output, or a lot more political power, or national coup. Support the followers of the king. Support the opposition. Well, I mean, technically we do have the king. Oh, no, never mind. We have the nobles' council. Uh, the king left. Public dissatisfaction which sucks. Lessons of martial arts. We have foreign engineers, command officers, and royal guard, which is not bad. I, I kind of want to get uh, another king again. Anti-communist. The to speak. War against corruption or opposition. Absolute power. Well, that's kind of cool. Humanitarian relief or supporters of nationalism. We do love nationalism here on the channel. Join the war against the piglins. I don't know. I'm not sure how far we can go with this stuff, honestly. Nationalization of private activities. Investment in iron mines. Investment in coal mines. We must dig deeper. Oh. Economic project. Getting wood. Trade agreements. Support the followers of the king. George is king. Quickly, manpower does go up slightly. George's speech. War against the opposition. Malorum. Um. Well, we did send the king away. The king escapes. And, you know what? Maybe we'll have him come back. Oh, Red Revolution. Let's do National Coup, maybe. Is that a coup? Is coups? Are... Oh, that's, that's pretty bad. Right, let's do Red Revolution first. I, it's not implemented, but I, I don't want to put us in a bad position by losing stability right now, so. So the goal is to go right here and then right there. 
Small, small, small little encirclements. So we've lost 200,000 people. We've killed off 400,000. So how much more map do these guys have? Like, I can't imagine that they've... Not that much. Okay, that's good. Uh, Undead Legion. No support equipment. No equipment, period. Just kind of like us. Pig eaters are gone? Good. I'm going to kill all those pig eaters. And then we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. And then we'll do right there. If, po if possible. Let you guys follow up. And you guys go in too, because you can. Nice. Concentrate your forces. Even though we sent the king away, he's still here somehow. But more attack is always good. More attack. Because we're going to need the extra attack from here on out. Oh, hello. Oh, another research finished. Good, good, good. Jolly good. Stay there. Um, there you go. Well, national coup, I guess. Now we get rid of the military government or something. What is that? No. Oh, exclusive, exclusive with the military government. Okay. And there we go. Nice. So let's move in. Not bad. Not bad. Good. Two divisions will go bye-bye, hopefully. A juke box, yes. Radar seems okay. We're going to the land option still. Uh, so, wait, quite a bit ahead of time. Interwar donkeys. Um, anything else that could help us out immediately? Artillery? Yes. Sure, why not? There we go. Not bad, not bad. Are they still attacking us? Oh, ab absolutely. They absolutely are. So, let's take it another easy step towards this. Boom, boom. Won't be a huge step, but how many divisions do they have left? Up to 30. We have 56, which is pretty good. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's go. You guys go right there, and you'll be great. There you go. And there you go as well. It's only one division, but that's alright. These guys spread a little bit first, and go here. Beautiful. Can't believe we actually survived so far. It's kind of crazy. Now we can do support the opposition. Constitution. Daily compliance gain is pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Why democracy? Exactly, why? Why would we go down this route? Democracy? Fight for freedom? Eh. Support the followers of the king. Any other upgrades yet? Kinda doubt it. Yeah, overall, like, this is not super easy. Like, I don't know if I'd recommend doing it like this. Probably not, honestly. But, eh, hey, it's... it's, it's it's a challenge. It's a fun challenge. Something I usually don't say, but it's a fun challenge. Let's try this out. Wow. And we're still losing to them. Sure, guys. Yeah, I'll take some stuff. The collapse of Imperia, allowing the peasants to walk always in chaos. Oh, Imperian Empire. What are they like? King Heinrich II. New beginnings. Now, that seems like a generic focus tree. North Imperial Commune, New Beginnings, nothing there. Revolutionary Imperia. This organized revolutionaries, TNT cannons. No? I'm not seeing anything super different or unique. So, let me know what other nations I should play in this mod, because there's a lot of things here. But we're all the way over here, so. And um, they're attacking once again. What right, else is new? Five, four, three, let's go in. The goal is to encircle and destroy. Going in around, that'll be great. You immediately start attacking them again. Do not die there. Or at least let us kill them off as fast as possible. Uh, radical defense measures? Yeah, why not? There you go. So even if we lose, we'll still be okay. Um, up next, we're going to do another encirclement right here. Boom, bong, bing. That ain't much, but it's going to work. There you go. Boom, boom. Basalt pigs are gone. Goodbye, basalt pigs. Nice. Do not let them move. Force the attack. Council only, so that's fine, 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 fine with us. Oh no, they're attacking some of our divisions. Goodbye, you died. So my goal next is do a straight shootout. One, two, three, four, five. And circle and destroy all those guys, and 
we might actually be able to do a general attack. Our last line of defense, not so long ago, is news spread about a great kingdom. The king is an heir. The future of the kingdom has not been doubted as a king and their wife did not birth a son, but now it has happened. Despite our many misgivings, we may now have a chance to rebuild our empire. Our line? No sign. Some of our subjects may see us abandoning them. Uh, our line. And foreign aid, yes. We request some foreign aid. Because foreign aid is tasty. Good luck. Because God knows we're going to need it. We got plenty of artillery. Castle guards. Uh, go, castle guards are what we're currently using. Uh, guards, too, are probably honestly better. Actually, legions of foot are actually better than what we currently have. We need definitely more artillery here, if that's alright. Nice. Moving up. Go, go, go! Don't let him move. Don't let him move. Nice. All right. Into war artillery looking good. Anti air. That's looking pretty good. Planes. Probably not going to have any time really to get planes, but you know what? You never know. Can we try general attack? It's probably a really bad idea. We'll try maybe general attack after we like get rid of these guys over here. We need more player. Oh, we're, oh, we're out of player power. We got to raise the conscription level next then. Alright, boys, you heard we gotta go in now. Aid from Red Rose. They provide us with goods which we are distributing to the people now. Aid from the Empire. We are now at the present day. A new Empire of mobs has arisen in the north, and we have been in a brutal war for the last year, where the resources have expanded from many past conflicts. The king has rallied all his remaining resources for one last push, so this is our last chance to, find, to achieve a final victory. Foreign aid? Monarchs newspapers? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, so we gotta give the good old Rambler try for our good old monarchy here. Disperse industry, good, good. At this point, I think we'll just try general attack. How many divisions do I have left? 10 and 19. Obviously, not all of these attacks are going to go great, especially when we're lacking 3,500 guns and so many horse boys. But, oh well. Zachen? There you go. Let's go and conscript a few more guys, because my goodness, we're going to need them. So, after this one, um, oh, we'll give us some increase the royal army. Or increasing the royal army. Well, let's see what we can do. If you just go around him, that would be very helpful. Yeah, that's not bad. I think we'll win overall. Like, we've lost a quarter million. They've lost two thirds of a million, though. Yeah. Not quite territories yet. Managed subjects. Oh, we do have quite a few subjects, which is quite nice. And then anti-corruption office, more stability and more encryption. Yes, that'd be very nice. Very good, very good. If you guys are doing nothing, just go right there and go right there. You should be able to win. Should. I've been wrong before. Delayed auction. Oh, that helped us out with even more organization. Yes, please. Anyone here upgrades yet? No, well, that's sad. Okay, whatever. Yes, please. Increase the Royal Army. Anti-corruption office. And then, maybe humanitarian relief? We lose some political power, get some more stability, would be very, very nice. And increase our casualties by even more. Well, we're going to take more casualties ourselves, but still. Oh. The Vlimer Kingdom. North Imperium Commune, Varkut Empire. Huh. If we could do that, that would be great. Encircle them, kill them off, all that good stuff. Oh, come on, man. Get in there before these divisions get in there. God dang it, just keep going. Anti-corruption office. And humanitarian ship. Yes. Relief. Now we can do this. Civilian oversight is fine. Cavalry 2, probably. Cavalry 2. Literally just garrison, so that's good. And we're just missing a lot of horses, which sucks, but whatever. What, carbonization? A little bit ahead of time for that one. Council enemies, whatever. Grab some more fuel gain, which we honestly don't really need, but whatever. We'll do it anyways, because we can. This is bread. Extra supplies. Go right ahead. Should be fine anyways with that. Cancel the lend lease for now. And then do that too. Antwerp fighters. Nice. 
Tactical bombers, humanitarian relief. Rebuild the broken uh, nation. Public dissatisfaction and starving people. Oh, wait, what? Uh, we have public dissatisfaction, which does is really bad for us. We lost a lot of attack. We're not starving, so... I wonder where, that, where that's from. You have an easy out. Just go in, and then boom, they're done. See, it's magical. 300,000 versus 700, almost 800,000. Very nice. Very nice. One political power a day. 1.1, really, but economic project. George is king. He's an anti-communist. Cool. Well, you guys go and repair for now. I don't know if we're actually going to find anything around here to do, but that's alright. And now we're at Elez. Hey, we got the capital. Yay! We did really well. We did a lot better than I thought we would, I'll be honest. Because this was not easy. We won! Yeah, this was not easy. This was really not easy. It was fun. I was worried that I had to use cons commands, but it is possible to win fair and square. So, reform the Eastern Kingdom. The Fallen Kingdom we know as the Fallen Kingdom, which we are. Uh, Crazy Adventure changes name to Northern Lights. Crazy Adventure Ruins is renamed Northern Lights. Silver City Ruins is renamed to Silver City. Ruin Ferris will be renamed Wheel of God. We created the faction of the Eastern Kingdom. Yeah, why not? Alright, hey, the Eastern Kingdom, look at that. We have the flag of Scandinavia, but... Alright then. We do be looking pretty nice. We need quite a few more horses, though. Oh, my goodness. Quite. Uh, Faction-wise... Well, the Eastern Kingdom. Not bad. Don't think we were really supposed to win there, but that's okay. Uh, horses. I do like the horses, but some of them are just... Uh... Oh, so there's eight divisions there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, George is king. Followed up with what? Open criticism to the opposition. Daily vigilism support. Village support. All right. Uh, I'm not really sure where to send you guys. I'll be honest. Maybe we'll do like this, maybe? Yeah, I remember when this mod first came out. I'm like, there's no way we can win. And that's why I didn't play this nation when, we, when this mod first came out. So I'm like, yeah, we can't win here. But I've been proven wrong. I proved myself wrong. And maybe I proved you wrong, too. But I kind of doubt it. <laughs> Village reformer? Nope. Supremacist. Staunch monarchist. I'll get the extra political power now. Screw it. All right. Army loyalty to the king. Weekly uh, uh, player power? Yeah. Global defense? Nice. Any good support? Yeah, why not? Sounds good to us. Legion of Foot 2 is pretty darn nice. Cavalry Detachment Recon. Mobile Recon. You get more defense with these guys. This costs you some horses as well. I do like the speed. You do use a lot more fuel, though. Uh, Recon-wise, you get plus 0.5 more. Slightly more... Def a little more defense. Uh, we don't have the horses for it, though. Hmm, we'll see. And then George's Speech. Why not? We have survived, my friends. There's patrol castle guards to make sure that we they're actually are leaving this place. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. And we're bombers, nice. Get some better bombers. To our fighters. And into our bombers. Cool. What is here for the soundtracks? I like speeches? No thanks. We're kind of okay. Huh. Alright, and then economic project. Here's some super good daily political power does go down, but George's speech. For years we have struggled through war. For decades our kingdom has been in decline. For centuries we've been divided. No more. We will unite under one name. We will rally under one banner. We will crush our foes and restore glory to the kingdom. We will be needing this. Colonus bends a knee. Oh! Okay! Uh, they declare themselves a sovereign state. Malorum. They will need it before King of Appalachia. Ah! Do we get war goals on them? I'd love to have war goals. Um, I'd rather get it from someone else, maybe. Bye, two for now, and you guys. You're fine. Since we're here, I created an agency just because I want to help lower resistance in these places. So, after the economic project, war against the opposition. Yeah? That'd be pretty nice, actually. Insufficient resources, low player power, which makes sense. We get like 10 every week, which is pretty good, but still. Garrisons are 16,000. Wow. It's quite a few. Um, so over here, it is 650. Research speed.
Malorum. Malorum. Malorum, Lorum, 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 Lorum. You're gonna die now. You're gonna die. A very painful death. And then we'll raise conscription level if we can. Because we really need it. Sipran says the old bond must be true. Well, we'll see. Save our political power real quick for now. Ice Beaks. How much do we need for garrisons? 14,000. It's slowly going down, which is awesome. Logistics wise, still out of horses, but that's okay. Uh, let's get some consolidated crafting tables. Oh, yes. Very so. Wow. Lots of resistance all over the place. There you go. Something like that. That should really help us out, right? Need a garrison's 14,000 still? Not great, but not bad. Well, I do like going to war. Of course, that's why we're playing Hearts of Iron 4 Minecraft Edition. We should be able to win, right? 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 War propaganda. Regional integration. You could get more. Yeah, we could use more war support. Can we raise this up yet? No, we cannot. That sucks. That really does suck quite a bit. Uh, get some more war propaganda first, and then hopefully we have enough few enough days to get some more military theaters, perhaps. Ah, we did win. We could use these special forces, but eh, let's see. Oh, don't tell me these are the mountains here. Oh boy. Twenty-one thousand is needed for garrisons, which sucks. Purchase of bones, sure, why not? Hope we get more horses from these guys. I integrate support. Very nice. Uh, what you want to do is just go here. Just do that. Just so distance, I can kill them off. That makes it so much easier, because fighting in the mountains, if, as long as they have no supply, they will eventually die, so. Need 29,000 for garrisons, makes sense. Fighters, get some better fighters. Oh, we actually do have a few planes as well. We don't really have any air bases, which sucks, but whatever. Well, they died. Republic Appalache. Nice. We did get more equipment, which is nice. We need way more horses, though. I'm um, getting wood? Sure. We could use a little bit more wood. Now. Now what? Sand, people? No, let's wait. Oh, uh, come up here. Monster Clan, why not? And you guys go over there as well, because we can. And uh, continue, I guess, investing in our any partisan duties. Let's see. 70% is pretty good. 100% is pretty good. Something like that. So we can continue building ourselves up here. I think that'd be quite appropriate. So for garrisons, now we need 25,000 manpower, but it's dropping by quite a bit every day, which is nice. Reconstruction of the capital. Yes, please. Economic projects. Ah, very nice. King George here, yeah, of course. King George. Good old King George. How is this? Anti-partisan? Yes, even better anti-partisan stuff. 23,000 needed? Hades Horde? Which, I do need to play as this too. How's that going? Nether Enderman. Oh, look at that. Novus. Oh, they have a unique focus group, but they, a lot of the uh, icons are not there yet. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, local sports? Yes. Daily compliance game? Oh, my goodness. Yes, we should have gotten the owner there. Hades Horde. Ooh, ooh, rush for the overworld. Core, claim and core neighboring states. Sage and artillery. Oh, boy. What's on repeater? That looks great. Hmm. Five percent for civvies or operative slot. They give me another operative slot. We need another operative slot immediately. So get the local support. Um, a crackdown on nationalists. Security office. Get yeah, stability is always good, right? As mod moves so fast that there's really no issue doing this. So why not? Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Six days, no upgrade in progress. Oh boy. Uh, do that one there, yes you can. And we'll have another operative. So poke. Um, over there. Oh, oh, is that cores? Oh, it must have been cores on us. Security office, very good. And crap down to nationals, of course. Southern, oh, southern player. Uh, what do we want here? Land auction would be nice, but can't really do anything for now. That stuff would be nice, but it's way too ahead of time for us. Engineers, eh, it's not that ahead of time. Why not? 
We've got this as well. Let's do some of that, 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 and let's see how far we can go. In our fighters, fighter ones are very nice. Do we have any air bases? Uh, no. Strategic region, strategic region, strategic region. How to craft one of them nationalist babies? Absolute power gains corn fallen village. The nobles administration of colonists will be known as the nobles administration of colonists. See, the autonomy progress screen does go down, which is pretty nice. Ah, nationalists. We can only get 1.2 political power every single day. Not bad. And manpower-wise, we need about 16,000 for garrisons. It's even though it's slowly dropping every single day. Look how fast the mod moves. I love it. Love it so much. Yeah, we need just a casual 90,000 manpower. Holy crap. Cool. More political power. Uh, better trade routes. All right. Trade detection. A little bit of time. Way too bit of time. There you go. Because we can't do nationalize, nationalization stuff, so that should be nice. But first, we go down this way for mine deposits. After this one, invite foreign investors. I guess we might as well. I like getting more political power. Hundred units of convoys is not bad, even though we already have three hundred fifty-three. And honestly, after this, I'm not sure there's anything else for us here. Really, Ammonites. Got a couple days left. Not bad. Well, what do we do here? Aid miners. We need to have crippled economy. Aid builders. Blacksmiths. Aid lumberjacks. Okay. Well, let's get some more political power first, I guess. Oh, we can still search for mines. And do some mining stuff. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we need way more manpower. Oh, it's casually needed 90,000. You know, I don't want to get rid of these guys, but... Oh. Does that help at all? Well, yeah, it did help a little bit. Um, compliance is looking a little better. Hey, we actually made a battleship. Look at that. We are training definitely. By foreign investors. Are you going to search for mine deposits? Sure, why not? So if that's the case, we have command office, foreign engineers, anti-corruption, the newspaper, King's Army. We get 10 more weekly player power, which is nothing. Economic project, which hopefully we can lower. Uh, Institute press censorship. We're pretty good on that stuff, honestly. Expansion of the industry. Might as well get two more cities. Oh. Three diamonds. Nice. Do we need this anymore? Not really. Cool. Yeah, we want to because we can. Because we can. Mine for iron. Ooh. Yes. Mine for coal. Why not? And after expansion of industry, trade agreements? Oh, we remove economic project, which is... Yeah, it's hurting us a little bit, which is not very good to have, so... Alright, well, we'll do that one. Why not? Because economic project is right there. We lose political power. We lose consumer goods. Stuff we don't really long, like too much. Nothing that really helps us suppress resistance. Which does suck. And some military police perhaps? A lot of political power though. I do like that. Artillery, combat, air, yeah. Division attrition doesn't really mean too much just right now. Defense. Oh, hello. Hades hordes. Well, they're probably going to fight everybody. Um... We must dig deeper. I'm not sure about, how do they even reach us? I mean, they can go to war with us, but how do they even reach us? Is it literally through the naval stuff? I... Not sure. They're in their own faction, of course. Um, can you traverse this? World border. I don't think you can. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they get, like... Oh, there's Hades hordes. Oh. Uh... Not entirely sure. So now we gotta decide. Investment in coal mines versus investment in Krinos. So do we want coal? Or do we want wood? Well, we could use more iron over that. So let's go into iron mines. Why not? Sure, keep keep mining. We gotta find them diamonds eventually. Um, Limited exports? Oh. Three villagers joined their faction, huh? What was that? Slimes of the Swamp. Alright. The Sand Nation. Look at this. Southern Project Pact. Protection Pact. Wow. These guys got huge. Good job, Field Marshal Henry Mountbatten. And experienced Imperialist. So, after that, I think that's going to be it for us, maybe? Or do we got one more? We got a couple more things here? Oh, look at this one. Spawn Trappers. Oh, getting a lot of cores. Oh. A seven day focus? Yeah, we'll do that one first. Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it for us. I'm not seeing anything else here really that would say 
Oh, we have to do that just because there's like nothing else. Production wise, we've done very, very well, I think. You know, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, let me know your comments, your thoughts in the comments below. But overall, I think we did uh, pretty darn decent. Yeah, not bad. Especially considering that war is not easy. Not sure if I can really recommend you guys try another war, but hey, if you're interested, you you are very, very welcome. And tell me how, and let me know how you thought the war was with the uh, undead hordes. Was did you find it difficult? Did you find it easy? I would be interested in knowing how or your thoughts. Oh, the, the conflict. Military police, of course. Military police. Um, for the cavalry, of course. Both cavalries. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Do we have a lot of support equipment? Yeah, we do. Cavalry 2 is doing that. So we do this, do this. Spawn trappers, nice. Oh, look at that. We got some more manpower. Beautiful. But I think now that is it for us. Not a long focus read, but hey, it's a still a unique focus read no matter what. So I think we'll end it here. If you enjoyed the video, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know. Should I try any other nations in Douglas MacArthur? Um, should I try... Oh, look at this. Other na nations in the Hearts of Minecraft Rise of the Legion mod. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous Minecraft rest of your day.